goes, do a move, put you on your ass. But after that, through the air come aircraft. Then you say sh that did something crazy. What half man, huh? half amazing. Yo, what up? This is Big Snoop Dogg checking out the M1 mixtape, volume number three. Summer 2000, playing New York Philly game. Uh, this guy Biggie worked for M1, gave me his card. He called me, he was like, yo, I heard you got a tape. Because at, at that time, everybody was, my man had took my tape and put music on it, was giving it to everybody in the hood. August 2nd, J.R. Roth called me like, you want to do this tour? Which means so we do a three city tour. LA, uh, Chicago, Atlanta. And that's how it happened. A lot of guys were like, nah, you don't want those guys right there. You want the guys who they copying off of. They were like, who? They were like, this dude named Hot Sauce. And when I got out of jail, the next day, I had my first game. They actually threw me on the main team because everybody talking about you so much in Atlanta. We got to throw you on the main team because we don't want you to go against the guys or you might hurt the brand or something. Hot Sauce, that was everyone's favorite. So that was like the, the name that I will always hear, you know, watching him cross people over and, and just the, the environment, just the excitement, everything that was behind it. Like every day a package would come. Going in the, in the hood, right, you see that in the project, you think it's money. This guy, he's signed with M1, he's like, they about to pop. And I just see a big gun coming in the door, just bust back. And I'm just still panicking, like, like this is me, you know? Like, this ice she ain't a dribble machine. When you live in the hood, you're always playing sports. Football on the street, basketball at the courts, crates on the poles. Um, but I fell in love with basketball early on. 